Welcome back to Digital Bytes. I'm your host, Ralph Ronzio, the technical director of the Digital Experience team. In today's episode, I'm really excited because we're announcing another new feature in Pier 1 that allows you to check the upgrade readiness of your entire fleet of systems. Now, why this is so important is at Pure Storage, we are very, very prideful of our Net Promoter score. We have world-class support and we make sure that it's always up to par. So it would be natural that we would start to extend some of these capabilities to Pure One in order to do customer self-service, just like our self-service marketplace. We want customers to be able to do as many things as they can on their own. So what we're doing is we're pushing some of the pre-flight checks that customers can run to see, am I ready to go from one code release to the other? Now, why would you do that? Well, our customers tend to upgrade frequently because we're constantly innovating and adding new features. So it's normal for a peer customer to go from one code release to the next. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to tell our customer base what exactly they might need to remediate if there are any problems that would prevent them from going from one code release to the other. Again, trying to keep everyone really happy and provide that world-class support. So we're going to take a look at that tool today. I can show you exactly what it does and how it will benefit you as a customer. So let's get started. Accessing the readiness assessment is really simple. You go to dashboard and click on assessment. Then you click on software upgrade. You're gonna see this little icon loading. This is actually importing in your entire fleet data. You're gonna see all the arrays within your fleet. Now, if you have a reason to upgrade, whether it be feature functionality or something like that, you can find the system that you're interested in upgrading. In this case, we're gonna use Dog Food Kings Canyon. And I know from speaking with my SE, that I need to go to version 621. If it was another version, you can select it from this list, but we're gonna go with 621. And then if you wanna refresh yourself on release notes, you can simply click on the release notes here. You click on start check, and this is gonna do all the pre-flight checks to ensure that there's no problems with this system and there's no remediation that needs to get done before we do the upgrade. We simply click on view pre-check results when that's finished, and it shows us that everything has passed. So if you're in a position where everything is passed, you can then just simply click on upgrade purity software. And again, this was the Kings Canyon array. So we're gonna just type in Kings so we can limit, uh, eliminate the other ones in the, in the list. We click on the version that we selected in the readiness check. And then we simply click on schedule. And from here, you can schedule a time with support. This is a direct tie-in to supports availability. So you can click on the date, the time that's convenient for you and simply click on confirm. Now let's show an example of something that maybe has issues or needs remediation. So we're gonna to go to Dog Food Wonder Boo. If we click on that and click Check Readiness Assessment, we're gonna start the check. You're gonna see the check is running and then we're gonna see the results on the View Pre-Check Results screen. So this one has an issue where it says, upgrading this array requires extra care. Please contact technical support for assistance. So when we go to open up the case with support, let's say we're gonna upgrade the Kings Canyon one that didn't have an issue and Wonder Boo, we're going to hit upgrade array. We know we want Wonder Boo and we want Kings Canyon. And we're going to select the versions 621. I didn't do that here, so I'm going to select the version, click schedule, and you can just simply schedule the time. Now you can also do multiple systems as well. So as you can see, we're pushing a lot of this self-service on to the system so that customers can do this really simple and easy. And now they can do it on their entire fleet to check going from one version to the next. Well, that about wraps up this episode of Digital Bytes. Hopefully what you can see here is more and more self-service features are making their way into Pier 1, further enhancing the digital experience and giving you as a customer more options, more flexibility, and a better customer experience. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, put your comments below. I wanna know what you think about this new feature. And that's it for now. We will see you on the next one.